Hi everyone, uh, this is a demo for the actionable solution from Radix Learning. Uh, thanks for joining us in this demo. My name is Vaidyanathan. I'll be taking you through this demo. I'm assuming that all of you have received an email which gives you the URL for the application as well as your user IDs and passwords. Please have it ready when you wish to log in into the application. At this time, I'm going to log in as one of the test users. So I'm going to type in the user ID and password that I have with me. In your case, each and every one of you should use your individual user IDs and passwords. Having typed the user ID and password, I now click on the login. As soon as I log in into the application, the first thing that I see is that there are three different centers, the learning center, the practice center, and the assessment center. Now I'm not going to focus too much time on the learning center or the assessment center at this time. We are going to uh, focus on the practice center, right? Now under the practice center again, you will see a tab saying TCA test and you will see one saying MCQ. TCA stands for task centric assessments. MCQ stands for multiple choice questions. We're not going to give you any multiple choice questions for practice. We are simply going to look at task centric assessments. Your assignments will also be focused on task centric assessments. So let's get started. Uh, let's first click on the course programming in C. As soon as I click on the course, I see a subject home, a test tab and a reports tab. Now the subject home will show me the scores for the past few tests that I have completed. In this case, I've completed one test and here is a score displayed for me, right? So once I click on the test tab, you will see that each and every one of you has about 20 different practice questions here available to you. We are going to start with one of these questions, which is a sum of the series for the sake of the demo. I'm going to click on the continue button against the problem for practice some of the series one. Please do ensure that your pop-ups are enabled for this particular application. This is very important. Otherwise, you would not be able to launch the test in the new window, right? So once the pop-ups are enabled, uh, the application will launch the test in a new window. Each of these tests have only one question. I'm going to click on this question, which is the sum of the series. As a user, I'm going to attempt to solve this question, right? So as soon as I get into the question, it gives me additional details about the question. This is a question on missing functions. In other words, it means that there is a problem that you need to solve and you'll be asked to write certain code for it. Okay. Uh, let's look at what the problem is. The problem description is provided here. So it says, assume that there is a positive integer n which is given as input. A program in C is designed here that computes the sum of the n terms of the series given here. So the series is 1 plus 3 plus 5 so on. So uh, input n would be taken and the program would compute the value of the first n numbers of that particular series. Right. So I'm going to begin this test. It's a fairly easy problem. I'm hoping that every one of you can solve it. So once I get into the practice area, I see a few different things. The first thing that I see is at the top, there is a task here, which says that it is desired that you write a function that takes as input n and computes the sum of the n terms of the series. Then on the slightly below that, you see a C program. The main code is written here, which shows you the input and output aspects of it. So the input part of it says that there is an input of n which is taken from the user. You don't need to do that, right? And then there is a print of the first n numbers. And as you can see, as part of that print statement, the va there is a function used which says some series and the param a parameter given is n. Right. So this is the function that you have to write the code for and the area in which you write this code is on the right. So it shows you the long int sum series and what you need to paste the code. You need to type the code in here 
and compile and submit the code for evaluation right since I'm not that good a programmer I'm going to do myself a favor by copying the code from somewhere and actually pasting it now you guys are also welcome to take the problem solve it outside in a uh, you know, notepad or in your editor or any of those tools that you use you can then test it out and then come back and paste the solution here so as far as uh, practice is concerned you are allowed to do all of those assuming that I have figured out how to solve this problem I'm typing in the code here and once I type in the code I'm going to try and compile the code to make sure that I have not made any mistakes once I compile the code I would be told whether there is any problem assuming that there are no compilation errors it's going to say successfully compiled if there are compilation errors the, the system will tell you that there, this is there are compilation errors and it will indicate what kind of errors there are for example if you have missed out a semicolon right so since I have copied and pasted the code and I know that it is the correct code I'm going to go ahead and submit this for evaluation so I have attempted the particular question and then since there's only one question in this test I go ahead and click on the finish tab as soon as I finish the system is going to try to evaluate my particular solution and after that it's going to allow me to close the window so once I close the window you will see that uh, you are returned back to the original screen but with a slight difference it's now going to refresh itself and it's going to tell me that this program has the solution that I gave has been evaluated and a report has been created for it and it will then allow me to view the report right so assuming that your reports have been refreshed you will then click on the orange button which is next to the report So I'm going to click on that orange button to view the report. I have actually received full marks for this particular question. Um, no, it definitely makes me thrilled that I got the code right the first time. But uh, jokes apart, uh, no, every one of your reports will be available for. So for each of the problems that you try out, there is a report section which will tell you how well you did in this particular test right so this is kind of a quick walkthrough of how you can use the system I'm now going to log out and end this demo we will give you a few other demos on how to attempt some of the other questions in this particular uh, uh, solution right so thank you for joining us again